So this is the Hello World documentation that I'm about to talk to you about how to create uh, your first Hello World with it. So let me talk to you about a little bit about how to create this. The best tool that I'm going to recommend you to use is Notepad. So if you pull up your down in your Windows and if you type in your search for just type in the word Notepad, it should come up and it looks like this. This is a, just a plain wafer. Yeah, you need to be able to read code, and this is the best thing to do is to learn to code through a plain notepad with it. And as we move through this course, I'm going to introduce you some other tools with it. But just for starting out, let's start with a plain way for a notepad for right now with it as well. So I'm going to maximize this so we get some some better reading with this as well. Bear with me in some of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about with some of this. I'm going to start out with some symbols here. It looks like a lesser than. I'm going to start with the first tag is the doc type with it. Now, uh, it starts with an explanation DOC type with it. So, bear with me. It's going to sound a little foreign to you in this one. This is one of those tags that you got to start out, and we're going to talk about what doc type is as the course progress with it. Right now, just bear with me. It says doc type and it's HTML. Later on, you, you could be coding for different languages, English, Japanese, Greek. That's where the document type comes in, it plays a key role in this right now. It re I'm going to start out with a skeleton, which is your HTML uh, tag. This is a tag, and to close that tag, you do less than, but it's the same tag with a forward slash in front of the name of that tag. So it's HTML <coughs> as well. All right. So this is the beginning of the tag right here, and this is the closing of the tag. This is the structure we're talking about. Inside the tag, every page has this particular skeleton in there is that you also have what's called the head part and the body part with it. All right, but bear with me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something very 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 plain wafer right now for you to do for you to see. I'm just gonna do head. Technically, uh, I need to indent it, but hitting a tab. That's all I, I need to do so you can read this a little easier. <coughs> and inside the head tag. I have, I want to just hit tab, it bumps in about five spaces in there. I'm going to give this a title. And I'm going to say between the title, I'm going to say hello world. This is, and uh, we don't, can't make it that long with it, but let's close off that title tag like this. All right. So just to give you, if there's a head section, you would think there's a head that has to be what's called a body section in this. And this is where the body tag comes in and you're going to do forward slash body. So this is your basic structure of your HTML. There are more to this again with this. Well, just bear with me in this one. So in this particular discussion that we're having, um, the let me yeah you know, it doesn't matter how much how much white space you put in here it, it's it you know the the interpreter ignores all the white spaces white spaces allows you indent in so it makes you read a lot easier with it as well that's all it is but I indent in look at the way if there's a beginning here's the closing it lines up in the right column with it the body tag beginning the closing of the body tag so <clears throat> just to give you some practice with this as well so everything that if I open up a web page I'll pull up any web page right now let's say I do pull up a Google web page okay so what you're looking at this is the body of the page the tab the name of it is the title so inside if you want whatever appears here you put in the title that, the word Google is a title for this page right so the title belongs to what section of the page the head section okay so inside of this we're just gonna <clears throat> just play around with this right now I'm gonna have you type it start with an h1 tag h1 is the largest font that you can use as a heading tag with it and you can say something along the line hello world you know you can say something along the line Dan rocks Okay. So if you want to practice this and type in closing of that tag, notice everything I have here is a closing of the tag. Here is the beginning and here is the closing. So the size of this font is going to be heading one tag, which is the largest one. There's six heading tags, heading one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the smallest one. This is the closing of that. How do I know it's closing? But it's forward slash. The beginning and closing. Okay. You could try something else with it as well in the body of the tag 
you can do something like this with a P tag. So with the P tag, you can close it off with a body tag. This is, this is an example of a paragraph tag like this. You could forward slash P close off that. This is a closing the tag. Now, this is a very important step that what you're about to do. This document hasn't been saved yet. I just want to clarify. This document has not been saved yet. Look up here in the upper left hand corner. It should say untitled notepad. <clears throat> Watch how I do this. Don't rush through this. Yeah, uh, this could be you can mess up this all this hard work for everything with it. To save it into the uh, exercise that you're going to do, you're going to save this as an HTML file. That's the only way it's going to be viewed in your browser. New file, save as, and I want you to find today's date. So today's date is whatever you do. I'm going to find today's date. I have a folder um, here, and then I'm going to create a folder of today's date. So yeah, this is very arbitrary. You see how I did this, um, creating a folder on the fly. So right mouse click in the white area. So I right mouse click in the white area. Just do new. Should pop up here. Sorry, my computer is kind of slow. Folder, and I'm going to give it today's date. So it happens to be 01 30 2020. Okay, so that's the date. That's fine. And inside of this, I'm going to call this thing Hello World. Okay, watch. Can you see this? Can you see this right here for me? This area? One word. Hello World. Uppercase H, uppercase W, HTML. Dot HTML. Now, this is very important. You've got to do, to come over and do this in this field. says so save as type. Do pull down. And select all files for me. Hello world, one word, uppercase H, uppercase W, dot HTML, hello, and all files. If you don't do, if you don't change this into all files, it's going to actually put a dot TXT after this, which makes it a not an HTML page. Okay, can you do that for me? You do click on save. <clears throat> now we need to see what this thing looks like, right? So one way to do it is you can open up any default browsers that you're using with it. You can do file, open file. Okay, if this is a browser. I want to navigate to today's folder uh, where I found this thing. So I'm on my my documents here. Here's my documents in here. My school work is all here, and I have to find my um, course, course, course. Dang. <coughs> There it is, and hello world. Look, it's defaulted to the Firefox browser that I set. I click on it. Ah, uh, why is nothing there? Good. I want this is a way we don't want. I don't have. I mistyped something. Nothing's here, and I can tell you I didn't close off a tag properly. So I'm going to open up that right now. Look at this. Ah, I didn't close. Anything that I mess up in the heading section, I have to go here and close it. You see that? Now I have to Control S saves it. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this over here, refresh the screen right here. Voila! So Hello World is in my tab, and then I also have the Hello World explanation there. This is the H1, and this is the example of the paragraph tag that that I just created right there with it. So just to give you, you know, a practice with that. So this is your first hello world. Save this in, in, in uh, today's folder or whatever date that you have you know, in that file structure. Leave it there with it. I'm going to end the recording right now.